good day to you. This is the 40th annual Joint Clubs uh, Chip Handlers show. And uh, yet again, I have been brown beaten into instead of enjoying my time with uh, friends and acquaintances and looking at the beautiful models, I have to talk to a camera. At the very least, the camera is listening to me very carefully, which is appreciated. Some of the most spectacular models uh, in the show. The, the, this year, there are quite a few wonderful models that I really like and enjoy. But uh, to me, one of the best is the model of the Winchelsea of 1764. There are a number of things that I like about it. It's not just the quality of the work of uh, Czech Passaro, though that certainly has something to do with it. And his manufacturing of a kit based on uh, the ship and his research. Yes, it is a rarely built, rarely modeled vessel. But what I like about it is exactly that it is the mid 18th century. This is the period of the open stern galleries. This is the period of still uh, proper carvings decorating the sterns. There is so much great, so much beauty in these vessels. They are interested in decorating. They do not have the rather boring Nelsonian scheme of uh, Ocker gun port stripe surrounded by practically all black uh, sides of the vessel. That is quite boring. There is no polite way of putting it. But with the older vessels, you can see the natural color of the trees. You see the painted friezes along the sides of the vessels. David Anshul did a fantastic course on how to uh, manufacture these in his book on the swan uh, sloops of war. This also is clearly pre caronate uh, age vessel because as uh, is quite clearly they are swivel guns on the quarter deck. And purely anti-personnel weapons, they cannot do any damage to a hull and very limited to the rigging. But they certainly can wreak havoc upon the crew of the enemy vessel. In this case, I also like the configuration of the colors. Yes, she is probably a little bit brighter than the new ship would have been but it offsets very nicely the paintings of the frieze. And that is such a characteristic of the Georgian period in the Georgian model that I absolutely love it. Um, I would love to see similar model, but also with the full rig. Anyway, this probably is my one of my favorites. Actually, on this table, there are at least four that I like. One that is in a uh, state of uh, manufacturing, there is a second win Chelsea. Here is the other example of the win Chelsea. I believe it is again based on the Czech Passaro kit. It is, um, I suppose, an intermediate step between the scratch builder and the kit model. It is highly detailed. This one is very clearly built out of pear. And I like it. It is very well done. Very nice uh, detailing. Probably a little bit too dark in comparison to the color of the frieze. But at the same time, this is probably closer to what the coloration of the original ship would have been after years at sea. Just gorgeous vessels, gorgeous period of vessels. I have never understood why people insist on modeling completely made up vessels uh, from Santa Maria through the golden kind, through a plethora of different galleons, and of course the ever present Napoleonic boring period of models. But these are, to my eyes, nothing can match the 17th century Navy board and the Georgian style models like this one. Right next to it is a beautiful model of a longboat. Rigged. I'm not much really to say beyond that. It is another beautiful model. It is based on models surviving in the National Maritime Museum in Great Britain, of course. There is an identical model of this and also the drawings, of course, are surviving. And finally, another of uh, Sloop of War to my right here, which also is nicely detailed. Uh, although, quite frankly, it is not 
much of this decoration is photo etched and it is not quite on the same uh, level of attraction to my personal taste as the Winchelsea is. It is beautifully done model to be sure, of course, it just the other ones are almost crash built. Another one of the models that I really like is this diorama, uh, the HMS Camilla. Again, here I'm making the same mistake as uh, normally people, HMS instead of His Majesty's ship. HMS did not show up until the 19th century as a short thing. Uh, but the model is so lively, it really looks like she is sailing through reasonably heavy seas, getting on and leaving. It's beautiful, it's very dynamically done. And uh, I like the workmanship, I like the impression that she leaves. I would just enjoy having something similar on my desk, sitting around and enjoying it. Of course, I've been spoiled for such things. I have had my fair observation, but this is a very well done model. So, thank you very much for your attention. If you're interested, if you liked it, by all means, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, or throw your rotten eggs at me. I hope to see you soon and thank you.